Welcome to this DT revision video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an ellipse using the trammel method. You may ask yourself what is a trammel? It's basically a strip of paper that contains a right angle and a straight edge. Very easy for you to create in the exam if you ask for an extra piece of paper. And a great technique for creating an accurate and well constructed ellipse. Let's recap. An ellipse is basically a squashed circle or an oval and contains a minor and major axis. Theoretically, these are two diameters of an, of an oval or an ellipse shape. The first thing you need to do, in the exam you'll be given the major and minor axis. So if you're asked to draw an ellipse, these will always be given. Let's say here, for example, today you're given uh, an example where you're asked to draw a major axis of 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters and the minor axes of 80 millimeters or 8 centimeters. So this ellipse, because these measurements are quite similar, is going to be a very slightly squashed circle but not as exaggerated as this one. So, step one, draw your major axis, mark the midpoint, okay, so that's a 10 centimeter line with the midpoint marked at 5. From that midpoint, create your minor axis, and that will be done again at 90 degrees to the major axis that you've drawn. So theoretically here today, my ellipse is going to be forming this shape here. Now, what do we do next with the trammel? The first thing we do with the trammel is we mark the minor axis, okay? So from the edge of the trammel, we mark half of the minor axis and we label that as point A. You'll notice I put a little mark at the end and a smaller mark here where we have the distance of half the minor axis. Then what we do, we place that on the major axis and we mark point B, which is the difference between the minor and the major axis. Then, the next stage will involve placing A and B on both axes, so making sure that A is touching the major axis line and B is touching the minor axis line, and marking points. Now as you move it and you change the shape of this triangle in the middle, this will allow you to plot your points. Obviously the more of these you do and the smaller the movements are, the more points you're going to end up with. At this particular point, we're doing quite well here. I'm probably going to add another little one here at the end. And a final one, making sure again that A and B are touching. We've now got our points to plot. Now to carry on from over here, it's the same situation. So we basically put this at A and B. That's touching A, that's touching B, we mark a point. We continue, we mark a point. We continue, mark a point, and so forth. So this has given us the left half of our ellipse. There we go. Okay, you can see the lines there, the, the, the points there that we need to plot. I'm going to just chuck one last one in there, just so that we've got a nice curve to follow. For this side, we then move to this side, and we continue with exactly the same process, just following through, plotting our points, and there you have it. Okay, and for this last corner, we come over here, um, yep. we come this side, okay, so this is touching this axis, this is touching this axis, we can start here work our way up a bit. So the, the rule here, these two must always be touching the lines. Doesn't matter what, what shape you create, it's just that they're both touching at all points. And then we end up with a nice set of points that we can connect to make our lovely ellipse. There we go. You can probably see it there already. And all you do, you join your points up and there you have your perfect ellipse. Now, some of you may be asking yourselves, okay, what happens if it needs to be the other way around and rotated? 
well, the process is identical. The only thing that changes, rather than drawing the major axis first and vertically, we swap the two around. So we do the major axis this way and the minor axis this way, and the process is exactly the same. Now this can be done at home without any drawing board. All you need is a piece of paper, a set square, and a pencil. Very simple and very straightforward. Why not have a go yourselves? Good luck and get revising.